Hello everyone, this is Brant, The Evidential Medium, and today we're going to talk about how spirit communicates to us as mediums. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today's video is about the mechanics of mediumship. It is a brief explanation for those who are curious about how a medium may work and what a mediumship session may be like. I will also explain a little of how spirit communicates with me as a medium and to you as a sitter. A medium needs three key elements for communication to take place. Me the medium, you the sitter, and your spirit loved ones. Your loved ones that are in spirit want to talk with you just as much as you want to talk with them. And while we all have the ability to connect to our departed loved ones, you are probably having a difficult time in understanding what it is that they may be trying to say to you. Since they don't have a physical body anymore, they do not have an actual voice box or larynx to say the words as sound, and that makes communication a bit more of a challenge. So, how can you communicate with a loved one who has passed on? Well, you speak with someone like me, a medium. A medium is someone who can communicate with those that have departed this physical realm. And just because your loved ones are not physically alive anymore does not mean that their soul isn't. In fact, though they may be in spirit form now, they are still people. And when our bodies die, our soul continues to live on. Our spirit people keep their identity and memories of their time here on Earth. They have their own characteristics, personality, and experiences as you knew them. Relationships are key, and that includes not only your relationship with your people, but how the medium and your spirit people get along. Just like you meet some people here on Earth and have an instant connection with them, you also meet some people where you don't. The same thing can happen with both your spirit loved ones and the medium. You may go to see three different mediums, and you may have three completely different experiences even though they may connect to the same person in spirit. Some may be good, others not so great, and some will be totally amazing where you can't believe what was just said and what took place. And let's be honest, we all want to have an amazing experience that helps to remind us that our loved ones have not completely left us, that they are still here, just not in a physical form. In order for those magical moments to happen though, the medium needs your supporting energy to help bridge the connection to the spirit world. So when you are going to go see a medium, be sure to talk to your spirit loved ones beforehand. Let them know whom you want to hear from and what you want to have them say. They will be listening and they will be just as excited as you are when you finally have your session. And while we can never guarantee that you will hear from everyone or just that one single person, we all promise to give it our best effort. Mediumship communication is not always a completely accurate art. My friend Danielle would say, as much as we wish mediumship was like picking up the phone and calling 1-800-DIAL-THE-DEAD, unfortunately it's not. Actually, it's more like being a language interpreter. Think about how many different languages we have in this world, and then even more dialects. Let's look at the English language just as an example. How many different accents do you think we have? Just for the English language. There's the Boston accent, and I bet some of you watching this may have a Southern accent. If you live in England, you probably have an English accent, and there are so many more. Not only that, but we have many different meanings of the exact same word, which is only identified in how it is used and spelled out. For example, the word there, right? Which one? We have three different meanings and spellings for the same sounding word. We have T-H-E-R-E, -E, which can represent a location. We have T-H-E-I-R, representing ownership and we have T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, which represents more than one of something. They are all pronounced the same, yet they're used for different things. And that can be confusing. Well, in mediumship, spirit has their own language and dialect. And our job as a medium is to convey the information that your loved ones are providing us and to translate it to the best of our ability so that you can understand it. Now, because spirit cannot physically tell us things, they have to communicate in different ways. Sometimes it will be through an image and sometimes it will be more like a transparent hologram. Other times it might be more like a memory in our mind, which we will then have to describe to you. In some cases, we will actually hear them in a way, and it will be crystal clear. Other times it will be a bit more scattered, almost like trying to tune into a radio station, but you keep getting that static, and that's gonna prevent us from getting the best reception. It may not be perfect. Actually, in most cases, it won't be perfect. And if your medium tells you something that doesn't make sense to you, you shouldn't disregard your whole entire reading. Sometimes it may be information that you will have to go and search out and find the answer to. Don't let a piece of incorrect information prevent a potentially magic moment from happening. It is important to realize that in that moment, 
when you are sitting there in your session with a medium, your loved one in spirit is literally performing a miracle by communicating to the medium right there in front of you. Your loved ones in spirit and the medium are working together to make sure that you know without a shadow of a doubt that they are there with you at that exact moment and they're sending you their messages of love. Remember, your loved ones in spirit want you to be happy and to continue to live your life. They will be supporting you and loving you from the other side and will even send you signs that you may recognize are coming from them. Join me next time where we will discuss how spirit may be sending you some of these signs and what you can do if you feel like you might be missing some of them. I hope this has helped you understand a little bit of what a mediumship session may be like and address some of your questions. For more information, you can find me on the web at brantthemedium.com where you can schedule your own session or way to attend a psychic fair or gallery event to see if I am the right medium for you. I wish you a safe journey. And with that, I leave you with love and light. Until next time.